time to bring you what happened for day five of Cowbell in the Sky. My colleague uh, was there to capture the moment. Komlado brings us more. Three personalities are flying today, which is unprecedented. I'll be speaking to them briefly. <laughs> Bobu. What they have been? Everything cool. Everything nice. If you for. Munjai, me. We they can't fly today. If you for today, we they can't fly. So you guys for you for sip some cowbell, take a holiday. Okay. <laughs> is that who going to be your first time going to fly on the hot air balloon? Yes, this is my first time flying on the hot air balloon. And what expectations do you have? Well, first of all, I want to see my motherland. Okay. I want to see the the Ghana from the the same angle the birds have been seeing Ghana. So uh, that's one of the most important things. I want to be. I want to also be in a position to be able to tell people exactly what that experience of being in the air is. Yes, and so uh, and also I want to take the hot air balloon off my bucket list. So Great. here we go. Great. Now. In South Africa, they, there is a certain blend. People who go on these flights are able to listen to music mm. in their iPods mm. or, you know, provided Bluetooth on the hot air mm. balloon. Is it, is it a prospect we can harness when we finally commercialize the hot air balloon flights in Ghana? Um, yes, we have to harness that. We also have to make accommodation for some of us to be able to take our wives and have some romantic dinner in the air. So definitely something to look out for because they are the bigger ones that take like 12 people right. and so yes it, it should be it should be done thank you very much Andy Dusty yeah. you say you're going to fly a Belu actually a Belu the time has come um, I'm scared I know I, I didn't I, even I, know I, that that thing was that huge I've listened to you on radio you say you are scared but super scared so you, you want to beat funny faces uh, record what, what did you do he was squatting the whole time. He was yeah, as if I have to squat, I will. If I have to say that, I will. My only fear now is the landing. I saw the landing, and man, I've got butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's something else. It's, 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 it's an experience I don't want to have. I wish I'll be replaced by someone. No, it's too late at this point. But beyond the parts where you have butterflies and all of that, what are your expectations when you get on board the balloon and you are flying up above the plane? So, yeah. um, for me, I, I, I really want to be up there and, and see how you know, Ghana looks like from a distance. Right. I mean, flying up, in, I, I don't know the altitude, but I'm, I'm very sure it's going to be really high. Yeah, over a thousand feet, actually. Hey! Yeah. Charlie, by you two. <laughs> over, over a thousand? Yes. Uh, well, that, that sounds scary. Mm. So, uh, I really want to see how it looks like. If, if I'm on an air, air, airplane, Sometimes you get buried up in, in the clouds, and so you don't see what really goes down there. But this doesn't look like it. At least you'll be floating. So, I mean, that's the biggest expectation of all. You look a lot bubbly than I expected you to look at this particular moment. You don't have any butterflies? Um, just a few, but uh, most of the butterflies have gone into Andy's stomach. Okay. So uh, just a little is left with me. I'm a very adventurous person. I'm sure a lot of people know that. But in the beginning, I feel a little shivers here and there, but I am always excited. I can feel the adrenaline rushing to me right now, seeing the balloon being blown. I'm like, yes, this is what I'm here for. Okay. <laughs> when you get up there, people say they had a bird's eye view of the landscape. Nanaba was in there. You know, we had um, Funny Face do it. Funny Face, of course, has been the scariest of the personalities who have done the flight so far. That's why a song called Chicken. Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> what, what do you expect to see when you rise above the earth, over a thousand feet above the earth? Well, exactly the landscape, the plantation, the greens. I mean, I want to see how my country looks like from way above. The only time I see it is when I'm in flight, but you know that we have windows covering and everything, shielding us. But this, I'm going to see everything from the baskets. And I think it's going to be really exciting, probably one of the most exciting things that I've ever done. Right now, I can't say much because I would probably know what to say more when I get into the basket and I safely land. <laughs> Thanks to my family members. Um, I'm sure they're going to agree that uh, uh, today is a free day for me. So you can land safely. Say <laughs> all right, so we'll be, we'll be tracking you. Once you land, we'll get your experiences and all. Definitely. But you have your cameras and everything ready to take pictures. After. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even the balloon yet. <laughs> oh, 
interesting, isn't it? I heard there was something also very peculiar about this group and how their balloon landed. We'll be bringing you more on that uh, later in subsequent bulletins.